Hello, this is TC Grow. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube video, but uh, I just wanted to give you an idea. My camera didn't work, and of course I had to get another uh, camera, which I have now. It's pretty nice. A lot of things have happened here at the Columbia Historic Preservation Society in terms of the train layout. First of all, I don't know if you remember the last time we had a video, this whole railing and all was all brown. Well, it's been painted white now. Uh, very nice color. The uh, walls have been painted, so uh, a lot of great things have been happening in here. Okay, we started building on the addition to the layout, which I've probably mentioned in the last video a long time ago, and this is basically what we've got so far. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember this area of the layout here. Uh, it's up from where the the city is, and we have mainline tracks right here that are coming up and they're going to go this way. Mainline tracks in the back over there are going to go straight and they're going to connect. And this one little section here is going to be broken out so the, the train will go continuing around the layout. So I'll just take you on a little walking tour. Over here we started laying in a, a large uh, staging yard in the back. This will eventually be underneath our what we call our upper line. Um, this here we have our eastbound yard we started and we have part of the westbound yard started. That should be about 60 feet long. And that comes all the way down along the wall. And we're still laying tracks so we're not totally done with that. All the way down along the wall till we come into this area. Okay. And this is going to be a, an area of lowered bench work and such. Um, way in the back, we have two tracks that carry the main line back <clears throat> up along the wall. And down here is the, uh, the end of the uh, westbound yard. So that's about 60 feet long. It's four tracks. This cardboard you see is where the upper line will go through. I sort of sketched a bridge there because there will probably be a large bridge there. And that will continue around in a loop and then back along along the wall. Out front here, there's a board going across, and I'll try to zoom in. I'm planning to build a, a steel trestle, and I did build part of this, okay? And that's going to cross this uh, area here. I have a big, large piece of plywood. It's probably going to be about maybe 24 to 27 inches off the floor, and the scenery base will start from there and work all the way up. To these mountains up in here in the back which I painted on the backdrop. This layout here was a layout that was given to us by a gentleman in Landisville who uh, was moving and, and didn't want to take the layout with him so we have that layout. So this is basically what's been happening for the new addition. Hey, this part of the layout is probably new too. I don't remember filming this but this is an area let me pan down here. You may recognize the city that we have. Okay. This is just above the city. I pan out. We have a little gantry there and some, you know, some sidings. Up in here we have, uh, you'll notice a lot of hills and such that weren't there before. Um, and you'll notice some of the rocks back there. And actually these rocks are pine bark. Um, some of them are plaster casting, but most of them are pine bark, which I bought a 50-pound bag of pine bark over at Home Depot in York. Uh, it was about four and a half dollars, five dollars for the bag in the, in the garden department. And they look like this, okay, but they have a lot of texture and strata and everything like a rock would have. And all I do is I hot glue them to the... Uh, plaster cloth or whatever and then I'll paint them uh, gray colors. The rocks in this part of the country are mostly gray. So that's that's something new that I don't remember uh, filming before. And I have a little trail that I put in here where people will be able to walk along the trail up here to the top and they'll come up to the uh, they'll come up to a little bit a little bit of a park area up in here. Okay? And these uh, pine bark pieces I'm also going to be using down there 
where the uh, mountains are going to be and, and uh, the bridges and such. So it, it should be a quick way of doing that, but it should be fairly effective.